Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronix with another tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can easily apply the mixer brush tool. I've been going through so many mixer brush tool settings, and I really never go through all that process of how you can easily apply it and the right direction to move the strokes of the brush in order to achieve the best out of your skin retouching when it comes to frequency separation and the mixer brush tool in Photoshop. So this is going to be focusing on only that. And if at all you haven't liked the, this video, I request that you hit the like button because it's going to help you to push and comment this video to many people out there. I realize most of you tend to skip or you tend to forget to hit the like button because, you know, when you hit the like button, it helps you to push and comment this video to many people out there. So liking the video is going to be very helpful. So what we're going to be focusing on is how to apply the Mr. Brush tool when it comes to skin retouching in Photoshop. And I'll, I'll not go in depth trying to create all those frequency separation layers because I have in depth tutorials. So, what I'll do is simply come to my actions. And if at all you're interested in getting my actions that I use for skin retouching or retouching images, you can simply check in the links in the description of this very video and you can find all these my digital store. So, I'm just going to play my 16 bit frequency separation action since this is a 16 bit image. I'll just come right here and I simply play my 16-bit action. So before you go into everything regarding how to apply the Mr. Brush tool, the most important thing is applying the right amount of Gaussian blur to the image. So the right amount of Gaussian blur is going to determine the amount of skin details that you're going to be remaining with in your final image. So if at all we play the action, it stops at the point when we have to determine the amount of blood that we want to remain with in our image. So by simply left clicking and dragging the radius up, you are simply going to start blurring out the details or the textures. But remember the details we lose out on this step are going to be the details that we're going to be remaining with in the final or retouched image. So I'm just going to come to the radius, left click on this slider and hold it down and drag as I'm releasing to see the effect in real time as it is happening so we have a we have to stop at the point when the textures are just starting to disappear meaning the prominent textures disappearing is going to imply that the rest of the textures within the image are going to be completely lost out so after doing that you're simply going to come to here and you're going to press ok so that the action can continue running and creating the frequency separation layers for our case so after doing this, I'm just going to come and set up the Mr. Brush tool so that you can understand how to apply it to this very image. So we select the low frequency layer first of all. And after selecting the low frequency layer of this very frequency separation group, so we select the layer that is containing colors. So remember, when we're using the Mr. Brush tool, we want to apply it to blend the transitions within the skin color. So just come under the brushes, right click and get the Mr. Brush tool. And if at all you are having an older version of Photoshop, you may find your Mr. Brush tool below here. So, how to set it? Make sure the hardness is set to zero and soft round brush has been selected right here. Then we select clean brush and we select the option that says clean brush after each and every stroke right here. Then weight is 9%, load 75, mix at 90 and a flow of 100%. So make sure sample all layers is not selected because when you select this option and you paint on the skin, you can notice that it creates or it paints back skin textures in the low frequency layer which we don't want. We only want to deal with the colors in the low frequency layer. So make sure sample all, all layers is not selected. So the right way to apply the Mr. Brush tool. So I'm just going to come, I'm just going to create an empty layer right on top. I'm just going to first of all close this frequency passion group and I create an empty layer for purposes of emphasis. So how to apply the missile brush tool? Let me first of all demonstrate this before we even proceed. So the right way to apply the missile brush tool, I'm just going to choose a color right here just to demonstrate for you. So let me just choose a bright yellow color. So in order to apply the missile brush tool, make sure that you look at the image and how to apply the strokes or how to move the Mr. Brush tool 
you have to move it in the direction of how a given area is shaped so for the forehead since the forehead is not is not moving in this kind of direction we can't move the mr brush tool in this direction yeah we can't move it in a horizontal direction remember the forehead is going to be moving in this kind of a direction i hope you are seeing this so if i is going to be moving in this kind of direction so we have to keep on moving the strokes of the brush in this kind of direction and not the horizontal kind of direction and when it comes to a cheek area you are going to be moving the mr brush tool in the direction of how the cheek is moving and he's moving in this kind of direction so by maintaining these movements you're going to be maintaining the original shape and the colors that are part of forming the shape of the model's face so a nose can't you can't move the strokes of the mr brush tool in this kind of direction because the nose is not or the nose is not moving in a horizontal format but it is rather moving in an up down kind of direction so we have to move the mr brush tool in an up down kind of direction so that is how you're going to be following the strokes of the missile brush tool in order to keep and maintain so you can see below the eye we have to move the, the strokes of a brush in this kind of direction to follow that area so that is how we can we have to move the strokes of the missile brush tool and hoping you have understood the direction in which we have to move the missile brush tool let me just do a quick recap we have to move the missile brush tool in the direction of how an area is shaped in order to keep and maintain the originality of that color then as well when it comes to applying the mr brush tool just going to demonstrate one more time so if at all we have a given color for example in this area we have some random color that is not where it should belong so the purpose of using the mr brush tool is to blend the less existent color that is existing within the majority of a given color and you mix that less dominant color amongst the more dominant color so for this color right here you have to mix it so it can blend into the prominent or dominant color that is surrounding it so when it comes to other areas for example if it comes to this area right here we have to mix this area right here and blend it to look like the color that is surrounding it so this is the more prominent color so we blend it so that it can disappear and blend into the image to create that nice and smooth transition so that is how to apply the mr brush tool so let me just do it in a practical way so back to frequency separation so how to apply the mr brush tool we simply open the frequency separation group and we select the low frequency layer and in order to see the uneven skin tone transitions by uneven skin tone transitions i mean a color that is belonging where it shouldn't belong so you can see right here we have a color that is belonging in an area where it shouldn't belong this color right here i hope you can see this so by blending using mr brush tool we are trying to even out or smoothen the color to look like the more dominant color in that given area so how to apply the mr brush tool basically we turn off the high frequency layer and after turning it off we select the low frequency layer so with the mr brush tool set up and selected you can now see the uneven skin tone transitions in this very image so like i said how to apply it you have to simply come right here you can see the uneven skin tone transition you can see that we have this kind of dark area belonging in a slightly dominant bright area or color so how to apply it make sure it is slightly small and it is in that range and you move the strokes of the mr brush tool in the direction like i have demonstrated for you to keep and maintain the original facial structure of that area and eliminate the less dominant color that is belonging or that is less dominant in a very big or more dominant color in a given area so you can you have to keep moving the strokes of the mr brush tool in that direction to maintain the originality in that shape so where that color is transitioning from one color to another 
reduce on the size by using the bracket key on the keyboard and with that small size you can blend and create a nice transition among that color to create that kind of nice and beautiful harmony so just look at how this is working and the advantage of hiding the textures is because we don't get distracted along the way by the textures and we can easily identify the colors that are belonging where they shouldn't belong and we just mix them so what i'm doing i'm basically holding left clicking and holding down and dragging to mix the color but i'm moving or dragging the brush in the direction of how that area is shaped so when it comes to the cheek area i'm just going to move the mr brush tool in an up down kind of direction because the cheek is moving in this kind of diagonal vertical direction so i'm just going to move and blend that and you can see the image looks a little bit plastic and if at all the missile brush tool is showing a plus icon make sure the caps lock is not turned on so let's see what we have just done on the forehead area just turn on the texture layer and you can see this is the before after before after you have easily blended the uneven skin tone transitions in those areas so you have to keep on working on various areas of the image and you work on it to perfect it so this is just how to show you how to use and apply the mr brush tool in your images in photoshop and if at all you have learned a thing or two from this video i request that you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating